Right, boys, right, Aaron, it's Aaron the Carrot here, and today we're back again with another video. Back, back to watch Sonic 2, we have the man Jaden, we have the man Liam, we have the Alvin, he's here. The pair, and we're Brooklyn. The dumbass is over there. Getting popcorn. Yeah. Hey, it's a madness. This is the most people I've ever been to in the cinema. I think there's eight of us all together. There's two goons in the, over there. Look at this geezer. All the popcorn all suited up. Sonic 2, let's go, boys. Ben, oh yeah, the only one missing is Ben. Where's Ben? We're missing a member of the Sandman. You're inside. Screen 3 just here. Wasn't it meant to be here? Tickets. Screen 3, lads. Screen 3. He's just sad. He's sad. Ben's sad. Turn right. Look at this goose. What's Brooklyn doing? He's, he's had a shit. <laughs> he got lost. All right, guys, we are back. And uh, let's jump right into the movie review for Sonic 2. I got my movie ticket right here. So, hey, this was a madness. This is actually a sick film. Way better than the first one. Way better. The first film, I watched it uh, last night. I was like, it's only an hour and a half. But, you know, it's a solid first film because it, like, sets up for the sequel and everything else. Uh, the first one, you know, it's, it's only got about like three action scenes in it. But this one, this one, so much better. Because there's loads more action in it. There's loads more like actual Sonic in it. Because um, the first one, there was a lot more human scenes. There was a lot more of that. Like Sonic was in it. He was a main character. But, you know, they had a lot of like human screen time and all that. This one, the humans were to the sideline. They were like barely in it. And, it. and it focused on Sonic all the way through the film, basically. And Knuckles... You know, Jim Carrey, uh, Robotnik and that. So, yeah, it was it was a sick story, you know. Start, yo, I thought, you know, the way... Because I only saw one trailer, which is the best part. Because I only just saw the uh, final trailer, uh, like, a, a couple of minutes ago. And, yo, they spoiled so much in the final trailer. So, I'm so glad I didn't see that thing. So, I was sold on the very first trailer. I was like, yeah, I'm going to see this. I don't need to see anymore. So, yeah, it was proper sick. So, uh, legit, when I'm going in, basically had no idea what was going on. Then, so, that was the best part of it because trailers man they, they, they do you dirty man but anyway because i thought the airplane sequence that we saw in the first trailer with sonic and uh tails that was like i thought that was going to be like straight at the be beginning when like tails finds sonic but no it wasn't it was right at the end i was like god damn this didn't even feel right but it was hey like, it was mad though like that even starting off like that fight scene with knuckles at the start of the house was bloody mad i thought that was going to be like in the middle or something but bro it was like at the start like god damn the bit with like Sonic trying to be superhero as well. Like there's so much there's actually loads of action pieces in this film. It's so good. Sonic was funny, yeah. Sometimes a bit annoying, like uh but most of the time he's a funny ass guy. It was the is the power usage was sick. Oh I mean, like the bombs at the beginning and he's just lobbing them. Then you got um yeah, Joe Knuckles back the shit out of him for for Sonic, like whole way through the film except from that final battle. I think yo like, cause he punched the shit out of him on, when they were in the snow, basically beat him there. And out of the house, he legit knocked him out, like, clean. And then, uh, Joe Tails, okay, this is a dumbass guy. So one bomb or something from uh, Robotnik when they were at the snow place knocked out Tails for, like, half the film, bro. Uh, not in the half the film, but she was knocked out for a good, like, 20 minutes. Like, just knocked out. Like, they they went through so many scenes where she still ain't wo woken up. I keep saying it's a she, but he, you know, I don't know why, that's my bad. Well, he didn't even wake up. It's like, God damn, man, I fully knocked out. The dance scene, though, I didn't expect that coming. That was pretty funny, actually, when they went to the bar and did all the dance thing. Because, um, oh, you know what's cool, though? Tails' is ability to clone and that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Because I, I, um, I, I've never played any of the Sonic games. I've played, I might have played it a couple of times, but on something, but I don't remember. It's because it's a really long time ago. So, I grew up with the Sonic Underground uh, cartoon. That's the one I grew up with. Uh, I love Sonic. Um, so I didn't really know Tails and Knuckles that much. Uh, but yeah, I knew who they are because of the... Um, the only game, really, is like the... The Mario and Sonic Olympics thing. We have cinema around in that. So that's what I know them of. And the mobile game, the Sonic one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's basically all my Sonic knowledge in that. But yeah, I was... I was with like loads of people and like my mates knew loads of stuff about Sonic because they watched the movies and because they played the video games and that. So I was like, yo, what's going on? Who are these people like, halfway through it? But oh, I'll get to that post credit scene at the end, but that was pretty sick. Yo, the best part, like, one of the best scenes was like the third fight was Sonic and Knuckles. Yo, like when they clashed together, like you've seen in the trailer, then the bit after that, like the good 50... 
bro, it's like fast as shit. No, you know what? It's it was mad. It was the fighting in it was top notch. Like it was, it was good. It was good. Um. Oh, what what else? Um, right. Let me. So I'm talking about the gods. Yeah, knuckles was sick. Oi, near the end, knuckles was the funniest guy. I was. I think my funniest parts was when knuckles didn't know anything. They made him funny because he's so serious, but he's a dumbass because he actually doesn't know anything. So he's like just playing. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing he's played um uh, I, I like that reference as well they went back to the um first film and played uh baseball and then you know in the first film it was it was like sad because he was by himself playing fe- baseball in it but this time they got um the whole team there <laughs> knuckles man <laughs> funny ass guys like yes i'm having the fun he didn't even he didn't whack it with the ball he just punched the thing he went straight through it yeah, like, Knuckles' punches, like, the way he's smashing through shit was, was mad. Like, even at the beginning, I'm jumping around everywhere, but, like, when he smashed through that whole truck, I was like, God damn. And what surprised me was Sonic, I mean, um, Knuckles was even quite fast. I didn't think he'll be as fast as he was. Like, he was he was running, like, all right speed. Obviously not as fast as Sonic, but, like, damn. He, I was like, yo, he's, he, he's still fast, you know. But he was fast with the hands, though. That bit when, like, Sonic is dodging all those punches, like, God damn. Yo, and then the bit when, like, Sonic's just kept boom, 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 like, beating the hell out of Knuckles then. I was like, God damn. Yeah, yeah, Knuckles, I think he was, like, 2-1 or something. No, I think Knuckles le- legit won, like, all three fights, like, except from the last one. Like, Sonic did win because he bit, bit him up a bit more, but Knuckles could have ended him at any time without a rock. So, you know what I mean? I, I think Knuckles is just, like, yeah, he's just... The badass man, and then obviously, come on, Knuckles should have seen it coming. I thought he was gonna see it coming, you know, the the betrayal, and just go boom, punch, uh, Robotnik or something. But oh, the punch he did do when he punched, I didn't, I didn't understand that though. He punched the gem out of him. I thought it was gonna be something else, but yeah, I guess, I guess that works, innit? Um, one, one thing I gotta say though, the um, the parts was like like no one really cared. It's like the human parts. I'm glad there was less of that, but you know the whole wedding situation. It we just cut to um, the donut lord, and uh, the other dude. What's his name? Uh, the groom that was a, uh, yeah, the the groom. I forgot his name anyway. Yeah, we cut to them like doing some banter or something. He's like, "Yo, I heard what you did to my uh, wife. You know, I tied her up or something." He's like looking. He's like, "Who's gonna beat him?" But then he was joking, or when they were playing netball or something. Like them scenes, like no one really cared about them. They kind of slowed it down like that. I think most of my movies like switched off when it came to their parts, but I mean near the end, I mean the, it came around to get out at the end. So yeah, the betrayal didn't see that happen. That was actually mad though, like the wedding bit, because <laughs> I didn't see the second trailer, so I had no idea it was gonna lob the ring, and it comes through. I had a feeling though as well, like the ring they had the wrong ring when he the switch up thing. Yeah, that that was actually pretty clever as well, and they come through. Sonic's like no, and and then that the guy the the agent from the first one comes back, and like just sort of captures Sonic and that. It's like dumbass man, you need like Robotnik's after him, you know Chaos Emerald, Chaos Emerald, and you just locked him up. But yeah, the Donut Lord, he was all right. I think I liked him in the first one a bit more, and his uh, fiance and the others like human characters, man, they were kind of dead. That that's what dragged it a bit down, but every, every time like Sonic was on the screen and Knuckles and all that, it was good. Then Jim Carrey smashed it out of the park. I I think I think Jim Carrey was funny in the first one. I don't know. There's something about that first one. Jim was he was funny as well in that one. And the one when he's like, "Yo, of course I like a lot, lot. I love the way you make them." And he just shouts it. No dumbass. Um. Now, bro, let's get to the mad stuff. Super Sonic. I didn't see that thing coming see i didn't even know who super sonic was either like that's my knowledge on sonic is a bit dead I'm, i know but um so i no, i kind of know bits and bobs but not like a huge amount um but yeah that was sick i didn't know it was called super sonic i thought it was like gold sonic but yeah when he came out I was like, yo this is mad yo and he was super powerful i thought it was like a different character as well because like because then like sonic was uh knuckles like, no he's not himself or something someone else like you know what i mean but then uh maybe like the emeralds like possessed him or something but now nah, and then he just gets a chili hot dog and i was like yo that's a joke and then you had all the power and he was he beat the hell out of the machine and that and there's no way robotnik's dead he's got to come back oh you know what they got to do though oh, i forgot what the gang's called but there's like um 
the villains, they gotta do the, the I think there's the six of them, right, in the Sonic, the six villains, that they've got that, that purple dog one, and they got, um, ah, this, oh, oh, I need the name for it, I can't remember the name. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, they could do Zaz, like, people, like, if he's in the team of five or something, they could do that in the third one, with Shadow and that, I don't know, but hey, I think, because I, I know him from Sonic Dash, you know, the video game, he's a mobile, so, I played that one. Let's go. That's my guy. Anyway, let's go uh, to the after scene credit. Shadow. Let's go. That was mad. That was actually sick. Uh, I, I felt like it was like nearly 100% we're going to see Shadow, man, because he's badass. Like, I thought we might get Amy or something in the, like, the next post credit scene, but there's only one post credit scene in the film. And in the first song, there was two. I thought we might have seen like something with um, Eggman coming back, but we only saw like Robotnik, you know, one time. I mean, like when he fell off the thing. I don't know if he's dead or not, but he's got to come back for the third one. Or maybe he's not. Who knows? Because Shadow could carry it, to be honest. Like, Shadow could carry the whole film, the third one, if he wants to. But, um, yeah, we'll see what, see what happens. Uh, overall, nothing much really else to say about the film. It's proper solid. Enjoyed my time. It was funny, a funny ass film. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, out of 10, what would I give this? Uh, yeah, there's, there's a couple of problems with the, you know, humor that gets a bit boring, but it's, it is funny at some times as well. I think, I think I'd give this movie an 8, 8 out of 10, solid 8, 8 out of 10, definitely worth watching, it is badass. Um, yeah, the, the scene at the end, like, when the, all three of them working together was sick, Sonic, Tails and Knuckles is really dope. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next, guys, in the next one, so a bit peace.